Ladies and gentlemen of the Shred Gaming Citadel video, we're going to be discussing an extra 8 gigabytes of flash memory that has been discovered inside the Xbox One. So, of course, we're going to go into exactly what it's for or what the theories are, what it's for. It's not been confirmed yet. So, it's very important to remember that this is not main system memory. In other words, this is nothing to do with the DDR3 per se. Now, there will be an article for this as well which has links to stuff like the specification sheet and an image so you can check it out of what it actually looks like inside. Um, so, as I said, the, the, the basically, with flash memory, you know, it comes in different densities. And so the more dense it is, well, the more information it can hold. So this actually has a density of 32 gigabits per stack, and there are two stacks. So gigabits you divide by 8, which means you get 4 gigabytes per stack, meaning you get 8 gigs total. Now, the big question is, okay, that's great, there's 8 gigs of memories inside my Xbox, or soon to be my Xbox One, what's it for? Unfortunately, I can't give you a concrete answer. Um, no one can, apart from Microsoft, and they're not going to at this point but there's a few theories the first is that it's a temporary uh, storage for well temporary states so for example if you're shutting down your console you know you're uh, pausing a game you know to restart later that type of thing um, it's erasable memory and it's pretty damn fast so it could well be for that. Another theory is that it's for the video gameplay capture. Now the Xbox One does have um, a fairly interesting memory structure and we'll go into that in just a second. But another theory is that it's actually being used um, for the application itself or it's being used as quick read and writes for the operating system. Possibly some kind of swap file system or possibly uh, something completely different. So, if that's the case, um, remember that the Xbox One's memory system is fairly complicated. Effectively, there are three operating systems inside the Xbox One. One operating system hogs the majority of the memory. It hogs like, you know, a good portion, and that's what's running the games. Another operating system is specifically for applications. So, for example, if you want to use Skype, that type of thing, that's all the second operating system. And the third OS is actually what controls them. So, in other words, that's the host, and the other two are basically, you know, running as its babies. So, as I said, this will be updated as soon as we find out or we get some better theories, but I wanted to put this out there just to let you guys know. Now, there is a small update I would like to give you regarding the channel and what consoles we're going to be covering and indeed PC coverage. This is going to be qu pretty quick as I will be blasting you guys a lot more with this in a vlog. But, um, effectively, I have a PlayStation 4 on pre-order. I live in the United Kingdom and I didn't order from the United States because, well, multiple reasons. Suffice to say that my PS4 is being processed, it actually says, so I should have it for release date UK, UK time, I'm sorry. If I stutter a little bit or whatever, I can only apologise, I am pretty damn sleep deprived. As for the Xbox One, I will be covering it. Um, I don't want to be biased, I have no intention of being biased, and that will never be the case on the channel. I am pretty damn brutally honest if I think that one console is doing something wrong or one console is doing something right, but that's about it. However, I will. I, I do really like the li lineup of the Xbox One's games, so I have it pre-ordered on Amazon. I didn't pre-order it early enough. Um, as it turns out. And so I'm being told, I spoke to a customer service representative of Amazon, and basically they've told me they have no idea when the Xbox One is coming in. I literally got the answer. I don't know, is pretty much what they said. Um, which is not exactly the most helpful comment you've ever had. I also was somewhat late coming back from work today because I actually ended up dropping it into some stores, just wondering if by any chance if they'd have anything. No, is the answer. I also 
went and asked, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of the store, if you're from the UK, you definitely would have, um, a Tesco's, which is basically one of our, I suppose it's kind of like a food, uh, I don't know, maybe like Walmart in the United States, possibly, um, but regardless, it's pretty, you know, it's big for England, but not very large for the United States, but anyway, I went to the Microsoft website, and they've told me, well, you can go to a midnight launch and get the Xbox One, fantastic! I called the store and asked, how many do you actually have in stock? Well, actually, we don't have any. Uh, okay, so when are you going to get them? Well, actually, it's not our store, but Microsoft, yeah, they're actually kind of wrong. So I spoke to two people at the Tesco's, and they said to me, both of them, that they had absolutely no idea what I was talking about, and I have to go to quite a long distance away. Um... So, yeah, that's not really going to happen tonight, considering I'm pretty sleep-deprived. But I will be getting an Xbox One, I will assure you, and I will be doing frame rate analysis tests, I will be doing game reviews, um, graphics comparisons, and a lot more besides over the next couple of weeks when the bloody things are actually in my possession. I can only profusely apologise, I would have ordered the damn thing earlier, but honestly speaking, I wasn't sure um, with all the costs of the channel recently, for example, new PC parts that we've had to buy, new recording equipment, um, you can't ever predict what the revenue is going to exactly be on YouTube, and I'm already, to be honest with you guys, every penny that we make on YouTube, and I do mean every penny, goes to buying better equipment, um, and so I'm actually coming out of pocket some weeks as well, because I'm buying so much stuff and games to cover, that's not a QQ story or whatever. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I'm just telling you how it is. Um, however, completely off topic, um, what I would ask is, aside from the article link, which you can check and peruse at your leisure, what you could do for me is a friend of mine is... Op is God damn it, you can tell I'm tired. Is she is um, entering a competition, and basically she's trying to, well, you know, win that competition. Um, it's kind of like a modeling thing, I think. Uh, this whole site is in German, I know her, um, but the whole site is in German, and well, yeah. So, if you guys could click on that link and just vote for her, that would be good as well. Um, obviously, no pressure to do that, but if you could, great. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get going. I've got videos to edit, I'm running on pretty much fumes at this point, and yeah. So... As I said, normal service will resume in the next couple of days. As some of you know, I've been pretty stressed out recently because of website hosting and everything else. If you're more curious, you can check out the RGT Facebook where I've basically raged a little bit, but I can only apologize. I will be pushing out and pushing for the next generation consoles. And, oh, I forgot to mention, for PC owners and for those of you wondering what's going on with that, I will also, of course, be covering new PC parts as well. Uh, things have been a bit difficult recently because one of the guys who actually records for us, Murasaki, his PC literally exploded. And so, yeah, and his PlayStation 3 actually blew up as well. So, um, it's been really difficult for him to, for recording, as you can quite well imagine. Anyway, I will see you soon. I will honestly be getting better with the whole next generation updates. We will be covering both the Xbox One, PS4, frame rate analysis, all the other good stuff. We are trying to sort it out. Anyway, I'm sorry guys, I'm wasting your time at this point. So I'll see you soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye for now.